Last time we adjusted the squish clearance and made sure the piston cleared the ports. Today we'll measure the port timing and find out what we're up against. First up, a huge thanks to Carl Dean for a generous donation, which allowed me to buy a new timing light with money to spare. I've had this one before and I was very pleased with it. Now we can check the ignition timing and adjust if needed. I've taken off the head. Normally, I use a dial indicator to measure the port timing, but typically the dial indicator has crapped out on me. I don't have another, which is long throw. Today, we will make do with calipers. Not that accurate, but it'll do. I won't take you to the process, I'll just do it and then I'll tell you the results. If you want to learn how I measure port timing, go check out the video I did on the subject, link in the description. I felt bad for not giving you any footage of me measuring the timing yesterday. I was a bit tired. I used my calipers, started at the bottom dead center. And I sent the plunger all the way down and took a measurement. Then I took a piece of wire bent in 45 degrees. Brought the piston up until it hit that wire. Then I took a new measurement with the calipers. Added on the thickness of the wire bent in 45 degrees. That gave me the position of the piston from bottom dead center. And then I subtracted the stroke from that. And that gives me the distance from top dead center to port open. The results are in and they are pretty extreme. So this is a 38 millimeter stroke and the rod is 110 millimeter long. Top dead center to exhaust port open 27 millimeters. Top dead center to transfer port open 29.9 millimeters. In degrees this means 140 degrees of exhaust duration and 120 degrees of transfer duration. Intake open is 6.7 millimeters from top dead center. So that's 92 degrees of duration, opens 46 degrees before top dead center and closes at the same time 46 degrees after top dead center. A transfer duration of 120 degrees, that's pretty normal. Exhaust duration of 140 degrees, that's extreme, extremely low. So this is actually worse than I thought and I have raised the barrel, maybe I think I raised it 2 millimeters. One and a half, two millimeters. This means that the exhaust duration out of the box was even lower, maybe around 130 degrees. And that's insane. To put it in perspective, if I were to raise the exhaust port to 190 degrees, I would have to take off about eight millimeters. I would have to raise the port eight millimeters. That's extreme. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm just going to end the video here, so I don't do anything drastic, like cutting the exhaust port 8mm, and I'll ask you, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to start porting it right away? That seems like the only way, actually. Or do you want me to try different stuff on the stock setup? I'll have to warn you, for this specimen, stock setup is completely shit. I'm actually surprised it runs as good as it does with these durations. Okay, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and tell me what you want me to do. Keep on trucking or start carving up the ports. Please subscribe, share my videos, and I'll see you next time.